Okay, so the next thing is we need to open up DVD Studio Pro. And you'll see that on the first screen that we need to put a few settings in. So first thing is that we need to pick our video standard. We're going to be working in PAL and we're going to use standard definition DVD. Okay. Okay, so now we have to import our asset. So up to file, import asset. And what we want to find are movies. And I'm finding my main folder, which is this one, Music Video Maker DVD. And now I'm looking for Jane, Music Video DVD Assets, Jane DVD Assets. There we go. And we can see the audio file and the video file. So I'm going to select both of those and import. Fabulous. So now we've got our assets in here. Just going to change that to graphical. Sorry, I just work better with pictures. And now for this, we're not actually going to use a menu, so I'm going to click on that and delete. And this one, so this is going to be our one and only track. I'm just right clicking and click first play. Okay, and we've now got that icon on, which is good. And now I want to pop both of our tracks into there. Just click and drag and we should be fine. Okay. Okay, so now we want to check that we've actually got something playing. So go up to the viewer and we can see that we've got something on here already. So I'm going to simulate. Okay, so it came up nicely. There's my name fading into the into the video itself. So just stop that. We're now ready to burn. Okay, all you need to do is put your DVD um, into the side slot and you're ready to burn your DVD.